Hi, Christmas has come a bit early to Rotterdam today. I've got a few new bits and pieces. You're probably quite familiar with uh, this is a very old microphone, but I'll just show you what you get in the box. There's probably a, a thousand and one videos the same, but uh, I'll do it very quickly. Very nice, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, they also do a gold model, which is the G, which is about 40 euros dearer. So I thought, let's just go with plain old black. Oh, like, look very nice. Obviously you get the microphone. Let's see if we can take it out uh, without doing any damage. He says, so it's a nice weight. It looks nice and big. End fire element, it says, which you can probably see. Oh, that's nice, all wrapped in plastic. And then we have the, uh, well, this is actually very, very heavy. This actually feels solid metal. And I imagine the microphone sits in here and this goes on the stand. And basically that's, that's it for this bit. So if anybody's curious uh, what the hand control is like, uh, probably not as curious as me at this moment. So, oh, very nice, oh, good heavens. Uh, yes. Very nicely wrapped up. So that's obviously the cable that, that plugs in. And this side is the moment. Oh, so here it is. That's a very nice reassuring sound. The whole unit is plastic, which is very light. Sits very nicely in the hand. Maybe you can hear a very nice quality uh, plug on the end. And uh, for interested parties, we've got the FL2 flange mount. This is to hold the, the arm a little bit more secure. And you get a few screws and it looks like it's cast, uh, cast metal with possibly copper on the inside and something to tighten it up. And that's that. So this is the box open. I'm not too sure if you can see it uh, too well, but she's quite uh, it's quite heavy. This These cover up the cable. The cable goes in the top and this covers over. But she's quite heavy. I'm glad I bought the other uh, mount now. But what comes in the box? Is this, uh, which I think is quite self-explanatory, it's self-explanatory. This goes on the table or whatever, and I imagine the mic then goes in here. But there's no way to tighten it here. I imagine it can swing around freely. So there are all the parts. And if anybody's curious about the cable, this is the ICOM cable. There's a cable for every unit. And you know it's ICOM because it says I. K is for Kenwood, yay is for, uh, yay. Y is for Yesu. And as I'm beginning to expect, very nice quality cable, very, very thick, very nicely made. And, good heavens, she's quite long as well. I was afraid that she's going to be too short to... Uh, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to measure it now against my body. And she's going to be about... Let's have a look now. Good heavens. It's about three metres long, this cable. That's a very, very good length, uh, three metres. Hopefully the next time you see me, I'll have everything put together and I'll be doing some sort of radio test. Or maybe the next, next time. 
So we have the microphone. I'm not sure if uh, it's just tucked in or yeah, here we go. Here we go. It feels like a shrink wrap plastic. Wow, she looks, she feels absolutely fantastic. They have the three pin. And that's, that's quite a good size that. I can't say what I can uh, compare it to, but it's definitely much bigger than the ICOM SM50 microphone. Oh, she looks fantastic. I can't wait to use it. So the next time, hopefully I'll have it all connected up and uh, getting a radio check.